Welcome back to my channel. If you're ready for the very first time, my name is Stacia. I go by Namaste on Instagram and Stacia underscore G on TikTok. So if you're interested in keeping up with my day-to-day -day life, go ahead and consider following following my social media platforms that are outside of YouTube and definitely consider subscribing to my channel as well. I don't know what where this vlog is going. I just decided to pick up the camera and hit record. But it is about 11 30 in the morning right now so it's almost afternoon i'm very very hungry i got got up and i did my online work because apparently summer vacation is no longer summer vacation here is i have to do online assignments almost every day and check in every day as well because i'm technically on the clock yeah me so i'm hungry i think i'm going to do some so make some tea as well as I'm going to do some pancake and eggs. I really need to get something inside my system. I drank earlier. I drank some like um, carrot juice. I need to wash this container as well. Also guys, I wanted to let you guys know that I upgraded my little equipment or whatever. So I got myself a new ring light. <laughs> we are officially a content creator, right? After three years of doing this i decided to get myself this tripod that has been in my cart forever it's from amazon japan if you're interested i'll link it down below hopefully i remember to do so i'm also waiting on a package that should have been delivered already they said that it would have been delivered between the hours of 9 to 11 and it's after 11 already so i'm not sure what's going on with that they're usually on time when it comes down to things like this i'm just setting up my, my tripod guys bear with me let me set y'all up hold on okay guys so i have my ring light on and you guys are all set up oh, i love this for me hold on let me see if yeah this is much better so yeah i'm in currently in my kitchenette area because you know i don't have a kitchen actually this is a small ass kitchen i'm very very hungry there we go very good i love this I love this for us yes yeah, so i'm going to go ahead and make breakfast while i'm waiting on that package that should have been delivered several moons ago at this point like i said i oh i have something to show you guys later on but i'm going to go grocery shopping and then show you guys what that is if you follow me on instagram you would know what i'm talking about as well so we're going to do breakfast and we're gonna see what goes on so i've been rambling i feel like i'm all over the place so let's just bring it all in so the agenda for today is one to make breakfast two afterwards do my skincare because i wash my face brush my teeth but i didn't do my skincare i'm also waiting on the package to arrive after that i want to go grocery shopping and get some grocery inside the house for next week i'm also going to the gym afterwards and then that should be my day in and of itself tomorrow don't know what's planned we're going to just play it by ear and just kind of go with the flow yes i'm gonna make breakfast nothing special you guys would have seen me make this before and then i'm going to check in with you guys i'll probably do a, a mini b roll of what's happening in the kitchen but i need to put on some clothes because my ass is out because I'm, I'm when i'm inside I, I it's hot i usually don't wear a lot when i'm inside i would be in this and some shorts because it's hot and ain't nobody got time to be fully clothed and i'm waiting on that packet so that's also another reason why i'm in clothing so i'm gonna play some music make some food because i'm really really hungry and then wait for that package to arrive so let's do that
brief intermission from the cooking so the package actually finally came and I'm going to just quickly open it up and show you guys what came inside the package so ignore the talking in the background I'm watching a video about Singapore I've been wanting to travel still haven't been able to do so all right so let me show you guys what's inside the package here forgive me if the angle is not all that great so I got myself some banana chips something to snack on these are the closest thing you're gonna get to like a saldanza banana chip it's an Indian snack as you can see but I really like this I got three of those I got myself some rice some premium basmati rice I like basmati rice a lot so I usually up to get this I don't remember how much I paid for it but I can leave the link to the halal store so later on I want to do I'm feeling for some curry chicken so I bought two packs of mixed parts chicken cuts and so later on after I'm prepared after I'm done eating and all of that stuff I'm going to go ahead and season this up and then go grocery shopping and allow it to marinate so that's what i got if you're interested if you're in japan and you're interested in getting items like the ones that i just showed you find one of the halal stores they usually have stuff like this sometimes i really can't be bothered to go to the store simply because i usually have to go to korea town shin okubo and i ain't got time for that one and two the customer service is really trash and the men are like i don't know i like let's just try to keep this positive the men over there they're just not giving it's the opposite of japanese customer service let's just put it at that so that's what i got I wanted to get some more stuff but you know it cost ya and i ain't got it like that right now so i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my preparation i'm gonna put one of the chicken in the sink so i can see it afterwards and then put away the other one in the refrigerator in the freezer so i'm gonna let's continue cooking just wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on likes eating raw pancake butter don't judge me no y'all tell me why i went to flip this pancake look at this monstrosity look at this shit like why why would you do that ha <sighs> i have not been having a lot of good days lately but i'm trying to be positive because what what's that what, what was that in all honesty, what was that? Because, oh Lord, your yeah, grace is sufficient. I'm going to finish cooking, guys, and just see if I can win every the vibe is right, because that ain't it. Okay, guys, after a couple mishaps, I'd say, I am done with the breakfast, and uh, we're not looking too, too bad. Let me show you guys what's in my plate. So, I did some pancakes, as you guys would have seen. I did some eggs. Can we focus on her? Look at my eggs so it looks good. So this is basically some scrambled eggs with some vegan cheese. And I did some smoked sausages. And I have some spearmint tea over here. As well as my maple syrup right here. So, so I'm going to go ahead and eat the disastrous one that I showed you guys before in the last clip. I ate that. It wasn't it wasn't given aesthetics, so she was cut from the team and this is the all-star team. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and watch this Paris vlog. I've just been living vicariously through people honestly because I don't even want to talk. Should I talk about this? But it's just I've just not been let me fix you guys. I've just not been in the best mental space lately. Yesterday I was in the gym and I don't know I was doing a glute and leg workout and At one point I had to like stop because I feel like I was going to pass out I don't know what's been going on with my body, but I've just not been feeling myself and I don't know things just feel like It's not moving like I'm moving but I'm not going anywhere does that make sense? I feel like I'm on this never-ending hamster wheel 
and I'm thinking of how I can get out. I know the first step is for me to figure out what I want to do with myself, but it's like Jamaica isn't a great option right now simply because of the economic situation, the crime and violence, and it's just not somewhere safe. In as much as Japan is on surface level safe, it's still not safe because this is not my country. We don't have rights here. And it's just a lot of stuff that goes goes into being here and it, the taxes, like I talked talk to you guys in the last vlog that I did. So I've just not been in the best mental space and I think me being on summer break, ear quotes, I've had a lot of time now to reflect on what I'm doing with myself and I feel I've been working professionally for six to seven years now and I feel like yeah apart from money in the bank I haven't really been able to and I still don't have the amount of money I would want to have at this stage in life but more importantly I feel like I'm not creating the experiences I want for myself like I told you guys I wanted to go to Bali look at me breakfast in front of me and I'm talking to you guys um I wanted to go to Bali but it's just not working out like having a Jamaican passport is absolute ghetto is that you have to do 100 extra steps there was a country in middle in the Middle East I wanted to go to they needed bank statements three months bank statements I have it's, it's just a lot that goes into traveling especially in post corona even if it were hard before corona it's like even harder now countries that we didn't need passport or well, countries that we need they need visa to go to now we needed and 10 extra steps it's just like oh my god let me just look i just can't be bothered so the money i had to go on the on vacation i just sent it to my account in jamaica because it's like what's the use i have to do all of these extra steps pay extra money than i would it's just it's just not making sense right now but i also kind of regret doing that because it's like i do need that mental break even if it were a solo trip i do need that mental break so i'm kind of thinking maybe i should go back to okinawa or go somewhere like hokkaido i've never been there before and i hear that because hokkaido is known for being very very cold during the winter time i hear that it's cool during summer time so i'm like maybe i should go but then i'm also like i'm tired of being in japan i want to go somewhere where i'm not hearing japanese that's what i want for myself but yes it's a lot been going on in my head mentally and i don't know if i'm having a physical reaction i'm going to go to the gym today again i'm going to see if how my body reacts to the working out or the exercises but mm, i don't know i'm gonna just I'm just trying to take it one day at a time, one step at a time, because that's literally all I can do at this point. But yeah, enough of my depressing talk. Sorry for depressing you guys if you feel depressed. And I don't know if you can tell, but my energy feels off. Like I can feel it. So I'm pretty sure you can probably feel it too. I'm not like energetic. I feel like I'm low in energy. So maybe I need to go see the doctor or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and eat and uh, I have to clean up the kitchen afterwards. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, I am in the kitchen and I'm about to season this chicken. So let me see if I can show you guys. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this with some vinegar. I cleaned out the, the inside parts of the chicken already. It d didn't need much cleaning because it just didn't need much cleaning i just go through the parts where the ribs are and just take out like the bloody spots that were frozen just to make sure that that's clean so that's done and i'm going to remove some like excess fat like this right here this is a huge piece of fat so i'm just removing that and yeah so i'm just gonna do that season the chicken up um, like i said before i'm gonna do some curry chicken and then i'm going to go off to the gyomo supermarket i have a few things i want to get i don't know if i'm gonna take you guys along with me because like i said i'm not in the best spirits and it's just like that's one more thing to do to vlog and to go shopping at the same time and it's cumbersome at times having to juggle both you guys would have seen me go to the supermarket that particular supermarket I, um anyways so what i'm just gonna do is whenever i'm done shopping and i'm back home 
I'm going to just check in with you guys and do a mini haul with you guys just so you can see the things I got. I'm on a very strict budget because like I've said before, my main goal is to leave Japan and I'm trying to make sure that when I do, I want to make sure that financially I'm able to go three to six months without having to touch my current savings. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now. You can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying I can be Yeah, the one that you call and you talk to Girl Hey guys, I am back in the apartment and as you can see, maybe it's my skincare routine that makes me look so glowy or shiny, but let me turn the air conditioning on because this is some next level shit. Where's the remote? Golly! Guys, if you're ever planning on visiting Japan, do not ever in your life come to the land of the rising sun while it is summertime. Come during spring or fall. If you like the cold, come during the winter time. But this right here, this is not it. Also, if you're if you decide to take the trip, you need you're gonna need things like these. It kind of replenishes the salt that's coming from your body due to sweating. Mm -mm. So I just got back from the store and I had a budget of 5,000 yen, which is about maybe 40 US dollars. I decided um, there's no way I'm going over it. I need to practice restraint. And your girl did it. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Alright guys, so this is everything I got. Everything over here is always here. So this here is what I got. So this is what I got. Some cabbage, cantaloupe, some sauce, some this, a little of this, a little of that. Oh, I have some stuff under here. Um, I got a lot of carrots cause, and cucumbers because I've gotten a juicer. But I don't. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video to you guys that I got something I wanted to show you guys. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known this already. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have known this already. That's why I need to keep up, guys. So, I got this juicer here. It's a very small juicer. And just to compare the size of the juicer to my air fryer, this is the size of it. So I've been doing a lot of juicing. So the carrot, the beetroot, and the cucumbers are all for that. So I'm waiting on the beetroot to arrive. I already have ginger and stuff in the refrigerator. I have some spinach I want to get used before they go bad. So I'm going to go ahead and cook because I want to go to the gym today, but my body is not feeling it. I don't know what's going on in my body, but whatever. I'm going to do that and then afterwards I'm going to see how I feel. I need to cool down first and unpack the groceries. I put them away because it's really hard. I might just get some AC. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cook and try to take my mind off the email that I just saw that totally threw me off. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. So this is what the chicken is looking like so far. I haven't added any liquid to it. And it's giving curry. It's giving curry. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The rice is almost done. Oh, it's done, basically. I just turned off the, the burner because with this stove it takes a while for it to heat down so by the time it cools on the rice should be fully steamed so i'm going to add to my curry some chicken stock with the seasoning inside of the original container of dish that i seasoned it with and then add the pumpkin to it to give it a little oomph 
like pumpkin rice with curry with pumpkin. I don't like carrots in my in my curry. I like pumpkin. It just you know it just had a little uh, you know what I'm saying? It's 4 p.m. and I initially wanted to be finished by 4, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try and go to the gym still. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up that and I'll show you guys the finishing product. Hey guys, so I'm finished cooking, so I'm going to head out to the gym. But before I do so, I wanted to check in with you guys. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this two-piece set. Now, if you watched my previous video, my Shein haul, you guys would have seen this. If you're interested, check out that video. I'll link that in the card above. I'm show you guys what the body is giving right now. So I have a little stomach that I need to work on. Um, but the booty is it's okay it's not flat flat but it's not fat fat you know what I mean so this is the fit I'm going to throw over maybe I don't know I think I'm gonna take the bus to the gym it is currently 4 47 in the evening so I think that would be more prudent and when i'm coming back maybe i'll walk if it's not too dark but yeah this is the fit obviously i'm in my inside slippers i'm going to put my sneakers on and i'm going to head out the house so i had a banana just to give me the energy to do my workout and i have my bag packed and everything so i'm gonna leave out now so i'll catch you guys when i get home in the meantime have a look at the body in progress in progress guys Okay, see ya. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another day. Um, so I just woke up. Well, I just woke up. That's a lie. I woke up. I've been up for a while now. I did my online, did my online work for work, and I made breakfast. Had that, and I've been waiting for my package is still right. By the way, y'all. So yesterday, after I came home from the gym, I was like way too tired to vlog, but I did have had i had dinner i did some steamed cabbage with carrots afterwards and i also did the pumpkin rice and everything else that i showed you guys i didn't record any of that sorry if you wanted to see that but i didn't anyways so i got two packages today and by the way i'm feeling much better i need to put on a decent bra it's not giving titties so i got two packages today let me show y'all real quick we're about to head into the kitchen after so these are the two packages that i got this is one i know what it is already it's supposed to be the beetroot that was delivered yesterday while i was at the gym and i missed the delivery and by the time i got home i missed the the window which i could do um schedule the re-delivery so I had to reschedule for this morning and he came like five minutes ago and yeah so this is how much that comes in the package itself so beetroot is actually very good for your health it helps with a lot of things if I can find some information to show you on the screen right now I will do so but it's really helpful so i'm going to juice that with some um ginger and carrot and i'm also going oh shoot i forgot to take the pineapple out of the freezer and i'm also going to make some some cucumber juice as well i'm going to juice some cucumber also i have this package right here this package is supposed to be the protein powdered pro powdered the protein powder I ordered sometime last week while I was at work when I had to turn up to work. So I'm open this real quick and show you guys. So I I can't consume too much dairy simply because it's there a dairy in my body. Whoa, this is big. My body and dairy just does not just does not work i'm really bloated and uncomfortable whenever i consume dairy so i got this right here for obvious reason so this is much bigger than i expected i think i paid like 30 us dollars or 3000 yen for this and it also came with this bottle right here which i might probably start using because 
I don't know. I might just start using this because it's clear and all that. So this I think was free with this. If you're interested, I can link it below for you and you guys can go ahead and buy it. But I'm not going to use this right now. Probably later on when I'm making a shave, I'll use it. So I'm going to go ahead and head into the kitchen. Definitely going to need one packet of this because I'm going to be making some juice right now. So let's do it. afternoon good evening good night whenever you're watching this it's actually 10 minutes to one right now it is saturday and i'm headed into the city well i live in the city i'm headed into this minato murai area to meet up with sashoni we're going to hang out not sure what exactly we're going to do but i wanted to check in with you guys just so you can kind of see the outfit of the day i got a zara gift card for my birthday and i bought this bag with it along with a dress and the gold back to this one so what i'm currently wearing is let me turn the camera so you guys can see what's good with my outfit so it's very simple today so i'm going to be wearing this um basic tee that i got off of shein i'm also going to pair that with some regular jeans and i'm going to wear some sneakers i'm contemplating whether where i should wear my air force ones or my my platform converse not sure what i'm going to choose yet on my wrist today my watch is my jbw watch that i got for my birthday from my boyfriend and i'm wearing my necklace from Ana Luisa as well as my earrings from Ana Luisa. Remember guys, if you're interested in purchasing from Ana Luisa, it's Stacia G10 to get some money off. As well as the fragrance for today is this Christian Dior perfume that I bought the first birthday I spent here as a birthday gift to myself. Haven't really worn my expensive perfume in a while, so I decided to give her a little spin today. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wear, put on my perfume and get ready to leave. Well, I'm already ready, to be honest. I'm ready. Ready made some TikTok as well. So check me out over there on TikTok. And I've, I did it in this outfit. So if you go over there, by the time this video is posted, I'm pretty sure I've posted already. Anyways, so I'll see you guys when I get to Minato Mirai. Hey guys, so we are in um, Minato Mirai and we stopped to take some pictures. I'm over there so I take picture. Um, so we're going to head to the red brick warehouse. I went here last December. That's the last time I came here. And I'm with Sashoni, who has not been on my channel in forever. I've been busy. Yeah, book time busy. She is. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to her channel. Don't know when she plans to drop another video. Pretty but nice. subscribe just in case that she does. And special guest hi um so yeah <laughs> we're gonna take well i'm gonna don't take picture okay you don't want to take a picture? not here some is yeah i've become a better photographer you know yeah but your photography skills all right we could try yeah. Guys, we 
into the red brick warehouse. Huh? She said, <laughs> All of my bitches got friends. Yeah. <laughs> All of my bitches got friends. Yeah. And they bad, they bad, so we good. It's enough for the club. So, guys, we got finished. Well, we're finished with the Red Brick Cafe. So, we're over our world quarters, as you can see. And we are going to look for a restaurant. I saw a Mexican spot over Red Brick. So, now I'm kind of feeling for a Mexican spot. So, we're going to see if we can, the best we can find. Hopefully, there's a Mexican spot, though I highly doubt that there it is. We're going to look and see if we can find one. So, let's go. <laughs> Where? All of my bitches got friends You don't need to pick No, all of my bitches Look, got friends I ain't really friends. gotta rap about it, I just talk about it cause I live it now So let me tell you about this PYT that I seen last week I had to take about Five two with a brown fur and a hand tied with a light eyes She would make me throw it all the way for a fun time and a right prize Mad as fuck, ass fatter than a hammer truck I could probably keep my hammer tucked The type of slide I'm down and then the penny stuck I run a mug, wanna kick it with ya Get a house and a pick it with ya Hop up on your at your workplace Not your birthday Just to let them niggas know I'm better with ya Your best friend Hey guys, so we just left um, the restaurant We ate, we chat And we're headed home I'm gonna end this video right here So don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe Subscribe to Sashoni's channel And I'll see you guys in the next one Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and um stay connected in the meantime guys love you guys for watching see you next time bye say bye guys